Hey, what is up, guys? It's Mr. Sketchy Beard here, or Devante, whatever you prefer. Uh, first things first, real quick, I just wanted to apologize. One, about the fact that I'm, I'm having to do a little uh, car video here. I know, well, I'm pretty sure my car is pretty loud, and uh, hopefully you guys can hear me over it, but also about the fact that I was not able to get up on Minoxidil Monday uh, for you guys yesterday up. I wasn't even able to record a video yesterday. The past two days I've been beyond sick. I've, I've been puking all day. Sorry about you know so much information there, but it's it's been really rough for me. So I have not been able, let me see if I can help it out. There we go, get the light off my face. I've not been able to uh, record any videos, just been sick, getting some bed rest so I could come back to work today. Now, real quick, I just wanted to post up a video about side effects I will be posting up my you know my weekly beard update I'm just probably gonna either record it later on today and hopefully try to post it for you guys today if not I'll get to it tomorrow so uh, bear with me on that um, so side effects for minoxidil now they're all going to be fairly the same regardless of the brand you use um, as long as it's your, your active ingredient is minoxidil 5% solution and they don't have any other you know additives to it like you know a bunch of extra stuff just on the back when you look at that it should pretty much be really really simple it should just say active ingredient minoxidil 5% solution you know a few inactive ingredients you don't really mind but that should be the major thing right there you don't want to see another active ingredient you know because those are the ones that are really going to uh, impact you now I'll rifle off a couple different minoxidil. You have Rogaine, which is, I think, a huge major one here in the US. You have Rogaine, um, you have your CVS brand, minoxidil 5% solution. You have your Walmart brand, which is called like Equate, minoxidil 5% solution, I believe. Um, your Walgreens one is, it will just say, well at Walgreens, minoxidil 5% solution on it. Um, Ew, there was Kirkland minoxidil, which is the one that you can buy off of Amazon. That's the one I'm using right now currently. This is the one I'll suggest to people just because yeah, that's the one I'm familiar with. So I can tell you what the side effects I've gotten from that are, um, if any. And, you know, it's the one that's most prob probably most documented uh, on, on YouTube. So. Um, so the side effects. Plain and simple, there really aren't any. There have been some people here on YouTube that have said they, you know, they've experienced, you know, whatever, a nosebleed or something like that. But what people don't really realize is these are things that you're going to go through normally. And to say that they're from minoxidil just because minoxidil is the only thing you changed in the past, you know, forget 10 years of your life uh, that you're doing on a daily basis of routine, that does not mean it's responsible for anything that's happening for you uh, to you from that point on so if you're doing minoxidil twice a day and you get one nosebleed and you haven't had a nosebleed in a couple of years like that doesn't mean minoxidil caused it you could have just got another nosebleed but of course because you haven't changed everything else you're gonna say oh it, i think it's minoxidil but the there really has not been any documented side effects so if you're thinking about taking minoxidil and really worrying about it the only actual thing that you might have to worry about is, and I will tell you 100% happens to a lot of people, is a little bit, if you can hopefully see it, added arm hair. Now, right here, this is how much arm hair I had before, what you can see right there. And this is how much I have now. So that's about, that's about as much as it's gonna grow for me. It's not gonna get any longer, any wilder. Uh, and that's really it. You get a little bit more arm hair, maybe a little more leg hair, maybe maybe some back hair. It's nothing major and it's not a ton. If you're really worried about getting a few extra hairs everywhere, then you should not be worrying about, you know, getting a beard, using minoxidil to get it. You're gonna have to look for answers to that problem elsewhere. Because yes, it will happen and it only happens while you're on the journey. Once you stop taking minoxidil, these don't turn terminal. These are just, you know, they, it's just, it hits your bloodstream. That's what minoxidil does. It slowly gets to your bloodstream and it it increases hair growth. Uh, so 
If you're worried about that, don't take minoxidil. If you can handle a little bit longer arm hairs, that's the only side effect you really have to worry about. And like I said, once you stop taking minoxidil and you're, you're satisfied with your beard, those hairs will, will go away and your beard will stay. So guys, that, that's my side effect video. I figured I'd do it just because a lot of people were asking about side effects recently and I realized I didn't really have a video up called side effects that people can go to and it's cut and dry. I kind of mentioned them in like another video. So I decided to post up this video. Um, that way you guys have this video to go to for a reference. So guys, once again, I'm sorry I didn't get that video up yesterday for you from an Occidental Monday, but don't worry, it's definitely coming. Just had to recuperate a little bit from being sick. So guys, hopefully this side effects video holds you over for anyone that was uh, wondering about side effects. And as always, peace, love, and stay furry, fellas.